My lips are too bare. Too bare. Much better. I have a story time because I really like doing story times and something happened to me yesterday I was really, really, really <laughs> pissed off about. I'm a pet sitter, therefore I go to people's places, walk their dogs or feed their cats, ferrets sometimes. There's an upcoming story time with that one. Usually I go to about five to eight houses a day, depending on the day, depending on how busy it is. The night before, she sends me my schedule. In the morning, she sends me a check-in to see if anything has changed. There's also a time frame, like a time slot where I'm supposed to be at this house and then out of the house. Let's say I have to be at Johnson from 9 a.m. to 12, but I have to be at Bradley's from 11 to 1. So I have to find that in between time to make sure that I'm there between this time slot and then I have to be at Bradley's between this time slot. So that's all up to me to figure out. I'm not told to be there exactly at this time and leaving at exactly this time. There's a time slot, so it's all up to me. So this time I went to this one and I, I've been going to this house since I started working there. Like it was it was probably one of the first houses that I ever went there. and they have two really big dogs. It's a Irish setter and the other one is a schnauzer or something, but they're both really big. They're basically horses. They're sweet dogs. They're super hyper. They pull a lot on the leash, but a lot of dogs do that, but sometimes it's kind of hard work because it's two dogs and they're probably like 80 something pounds each. So usually the owner's never home. Sometimes she is home, which I find kind of ridiculous because the why would you want us to walk your dog if you're home? I don't know. That's just me, but they never really tell us when they're home. It kind of is just like a surprise. So I know when I see that specific car, I know that she's home. So I'm driving up to the driveway and I'm like, dang it, she's home. And my boss has told me that she's kind of a dickhead. Um, and I've never met this woman. That's that's the very <laughs> key. I've never met this woman. I don't know what she looks like. And I've never been upstairs in the house. I always go through the back door because that's what we have like this whole file that says go through the back door, use this door instead of the main door. So I go through the back door and the dogs never bark until they can see me. Before I even park my car or anything like that, sometimes I'm there a little bit early. I usually wait until it's time, you know, to go in. I'm driving up to the driveway, my music is up, I'm enjoying my time, I'm like, oh, she's home. Okay, cool. And they have like this little like circle type thing. So I'm, you know, pulling up, driving around. My car was still running. I was still listening to music and I have a huge bundle of keys that I've actually now organized by number so that it doesn't take me too much time to find a key. So I'm like reaching over for the keys, all about to park my car, but my car is still running. Like I hadn't, I haven't even stepped out of the car yet. I see this woman storm out of her house, literally just a bust open her door. She walks. She's stomping. Bah, bah, bah. And I was like, what? As she's stomping up to my car, she's screaming. She's like, are you the dog walker? And I was like, yeah, I am. And I'm smiling because I mean, I don't know where she's going crazy, but I was like, let's, you know, whatever, be nice because <laughs> I'm an employee. I'm not trying to get fired for talking back. I was trying to push down my window and my window's broken so it doesn't work. And I was going like this, I was like, fuck, I can't, uh. She was like, you're here way too early. But my time slot says I have to be here at 10. It was 9.43. I was going to wait in my car until 10 and then go in. I'm never there earlier. She's like, you're here way too early. You should be here at 10.30. I said, but my time slot is at 10 from 10 to 12. And she was like, but it's 9.45. And I was like, okay, but I wasn't gonna go in right away. Park my car, I was gonna get my keys and then go. She said, unfortunately I'm home today because I have a conference call and now the dogs are barking and you just have to go in and walk them now. She stormed away and I was like, Okay, and I like obviously swallowed my pride because I would catch these hands. I was in my car and I was like so frazzled. I was like, that's so disrespectful, uncalled for. I don't know you. I don't know your name. She doesn't know my name. I'm a person. Treat me as such. What is wrong with you? Just because you're old and bitter, does that mean that you can talk to me this way? I'm here to walk your damn dog because you're too lazy to do it yourself. I'm texting my boss right away because she was like, I'm going to tell Brandy so that you guys can come later. And I was like, okay. And I just walked up to the back door, got the dogs and left. This has happened before. Not with the same lady, but another lady was annoying as hell and she was so rude to me. So I texted her immediately and I was like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this house anymore because it's 
No, I'm not gonna be treated disrespectfully and rude. Like what, what is wrong with people? I don't understand. I told her everything that happened and she was like, well, you are a little bit earlier. And I was like, yeah, but I wasn't gonna go in right away. Like I told her my car wasn't parked. It was still running, my key was still in the ignition. She was like, oh wow, yeah, like I'm gonna talk to her, whatever. So she handled it, I'm walking the dogs. I walked the dogs for like 35, almost 40 minutes. Because honestly, I didn't wanna go back in there because I was like, this woman's a witch, you freaking asshole. My boss said, well, she's gonna apologize, she feels bad, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, mm, does she feel bad because I told her or does she feel bad because she actually feels bad? Because you know some people, they just apologize because they feel bad that another person knows. I walked back in, I was like, I know this woman's gonna come downstairs, try to be all nice now, and honestly, I'm not here for the phony, okay? If you wanna be rude, stay the fuck upstairs, cause I don't give a fuck about your apology. I'm downstairs, just looking at her straight in the face, and she's like, hi, I just would like to apologize, like, I, I know that was way out of line and uncalled for, like, I just wanna take the responsibility, and I was like, okay. Thank you. And I'm walking, cause I'm still basically on the job. So I'm getting treats for the dogs. Like I'm walking around, like doing my own thing. She was like, you don't seem very convinced. And I want to be like, yeah, bitch, I'm not convinced because you're rude as fuck. Like People say you respect your elders, but I'm respectful as hell. And you're going to treat me like this. No, 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 no. And also they come at us millennials for being entitled. And look at you walking out of your house like that, treating me like shit. What is wrong with you? No, I'm not, no. If you don't respect me, I'm not gonna respect you. But I handled it with poise because I'm a freaking lady. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. I like, appreciate it. And then she kept saying, like, yeah, like I'm think like I'm just doing this conference call and I wasn't expecting you so soon. And I was like, well, thing is this has happened before and people have been really disrespectful to me before, and I don't understand why they feel the need to do that. I'm here to take care of her dog, I'm here on the job, and I'm not here to be disrespected. I'm not here expecting someone to be home either like you could at least let us fucking know that you're home so that i know not to come so early and she's like i just really I, you know i was so frazzled like the dogs were barking and then the conference call like they could hear it and okay the dogs were gonna bark regardless they're dogs like if you don't want them to bark cut their freaking vocal cords or something because dogs bark that's how they communicate honey i'm over there sitting pissed because she's kind of just coming up with excuses this is sorry ass apology that I clearly don't believe and then obviously I'm nice and I kind of just let it go because whatever but that, that just made me really 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 annoyed I was like what is wrong with you what makes you think you can talk to me like this kind of just kept apologizing she was like yeah I called Brandy and she told me that you told her too and I was like yeah I always tell her if something like this happens because what am I supposed to do just take it respect everyone okay i'm a human being and then i was like okay well i'm gonna be back at two and then this bitch had the nerve to tell me to come back at 2 30 and i came back at 2 26 i really like my job because i don't have to deal with people but when i do all hell breaks loose i swear people are so rude think and i wanted to be so annoying and condescending when she was apologizing to me not nah, like you're not even worth it honestly you're not even worth any sassiness right now you're just a rude asshole. But yeah, that's my story for the day. And obviously I didn't get in trouble. I've been told that that woman is rude anyway. So I was kind of expecting something to come out one day. She would blame it on us when one of the dogs would vomit. We, didn't, we don't know when the dog vomits. Obviously we're not there when it happens. So how are we supposed to know that the dog is throwing up food? Think lady, think. But yeah, that's my story for the day. I have a couple more if you would like to hear them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i'll link all my social media down below so you can follow me and i hope you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful night over now when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one